guess what we're in. We got the Mustang back. Um, so we just got it back and it's all good to go, all fixed. I have the sheets here explaining exactly what went wrong. Um, like I said, I'm gonna explain to you guys what, what happened in the car, why it hasn't been any videos lately and why I've been driving a Honda um, recently, which I know some of you guys asked me about why I'm driving a Honda Accord. <clears throat> I, uh, I broke something, so. That's going to be this video, so let's uh, let's get to it. So yeah, um, if you guys didn't know, which a lot of you, um, if you watched my one of my last videos, sorry, I'm using my phone in this video again, um, so hopefully it comes out good. Um, if you noticed in my video about the two liter block, um, I was in a Honda, and that is because I broke my car. Now what broke? Um, I'll get into details when I get back to my house, but I guess to put it um, put it um, simply, I broke the torque converter. I guess would be the the, the best way to explain it. Um, it was making a nasty knocking sound, almost as if um, almost as if it was like a, a rod knock or, or something from the engine. It sounded bad. It sounded very bad, um, and. You know, it, it, it just, I had no clue where it was coming from. And the weeks prior, um, we, uh, me and my friends noticed kind of on deceleration that I would get like a, 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 a sound that almost sounded like when, when you, I guess when you run over some rocks and they, they hit the bottom of your car, that, that, um, that, you know, just that, that sound of, you know, debris hitting the bottom of your car, just clanking on the metal. That's the sound I would hear when I would decelerate, you know, all the way down to zero. I would get that weird, that weird, almost like rock, rock sound. Like there, there's rocks being thrown at the bottom of my car and we had no clue what was going on. We didn't know where to look. We didn't know what was going on. And then all of a sudden, um, one morning I go to start my car and this nasty clack sound. Um, I'll go ahead and throw the clip in here. Um, it's just a short clip of me, my brother starting the car for me, but it's it's a, a clip of that nasty clacking sound, so I'll play that now. Okay, go ahead and start it. So yeah, it might be hard to tell since it, it's so short, but that clacking sound that you heard at startup started actually, um, I started hearing it basically, you know, all the time while it was running and I'm like oh man the engine's done I, I, I had no clue I, I thought the engine was done I, I mean it sounded like it the clacking sound was loud um so ended up bringing it in to get fixed ended up being the torque converter um I don't have specifics I don't have pictures I'm meant to get pictures but I didn't um don't have specifics but it ended up getting fixed um no problem and I'll get into details with the sheet um, that they gave me. They gave me a sheet, explains everything they took apart and everything they fixed and all that stuff. So when we get back to the house, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about what happened. But luckily it's all fixed and good to go now. Um, car's back to 100%, we're good to go. And I cannot be more excited. I have missed this thing so much. So I'll see you guys when we get back to the house. Okay, so like I said, we we're gonna look at the sheet we got here. I'm um, gonna try to keep the dealership's name out of it if we can. Um, so basically, I have the papers here. Let's see, don't need that. <clears throat> this one right here. Um, this is basically gonna tell us what they did um, or what they replaced, what parts they ordered. Um, it was covered under warranty, so they're not gonna have any prices or anything, but. Um, like they have the converter, all the nuts, bolts, gaskets, all that stuff, automatic transmission fluid. Um, basically got a free transmission fluid flush, which is cool. So, the, <coughs> the actual issue. Concern was clacking sound upon startup, verified concern, loud knocking noise at startup and idle, remove valve cover to inspect engine for damage, none found, replace valve cover gasket, reinstalled valve cover, remove starter to inspect torque converter, Flex plate, found movement between torque converter and flex plate. Removed exhaust, removed drive shaft, removed transmission, found that torque converter welds are broke. Replaced hub seal, replaced torque converter, reinstalled transmission, reinstalled drive shaft, 
Reinstalled exhaust, reinstalled starter, added trans fluid, test drove vehicle, no further concerns. As you can see, <coughs> they took quite a bit apart just to find the issue. I don't think. <coughs> Let's see, what is this? Oh, this is just multi point inspections. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what they did right there. So, that's uh, that, that's what they did. They basically they took quite a bit apart because they thought it was an engine sound, just like I did at first. I thought it was an engine sound, um, which it did sound like it. It sounded like it was coming from the engine. I even got. Let me see if I can find it over here. By the way, I battled a spider on my way home from the dealership. I found one hanging from my window, and if you guys know me personally, I'm not a fan of spiders. <clears throat> here it is. I got one of these. It's uh, it's a stethoscope, but it's got like a stick on the end, and you put it on stuff, and you can kind of hear. It helps you to, you know, locate certain sounds, um, usually on an engine. So I bought one of those just because I was curious to see where it was coming from. It sounded like the valve cover. Um, so that's what I thought. I thought it was engine damage, and obviously they did too. But they verified there was no engine damage. Um, and they ended up finding out, let's see, what'd they say? They found movement between torque converter and flex plate. I'm not 100% sure what any of this means. I don't know what was actually broken. Um, uh, they removed the exhaust, removed drive shaft, removed transmission, found torque converter welds are broke. Okay, that's what it was. Found torque converter welds are broken. If anyone knows what exactly that means or how the welds can break or let me know because I... I don't have a I don't have a clue I don't know anything about that so the torque converter welds were broken um, they replaced hub seal replaced torque converter reinstalled transmission um, so yeah the the torque converter welds were broken I don't know how that could have happened um, I, I rarely hear about issues with torque converters or transmissions in these cars so it's it's kind of weird that you know mine would fail but luckily covered under warranty taken care of awesome people that I dealt with um, Got it back, let's see, what, one, two, uh, five days, I think, because they had to order the parts, and it was over a weekend as well, um, so it really wasn't bad, um, plus they were really booked, but everyone kept telling me, why didn't you go with an aftermarket torque converter, why didn't you do this, why didn't you do that, because it's getting fixed, under warranty, broke, it fixed it, I'm happy, um, eventually maybe, but they fixed it. No problem, took care of it. Awesome people to deal with. I don't care. Like I said, it got fixed. Um, and um, luckily it wasn't the worst, which I was thinking. But going forward, um, I don't know. It kind of has me thinking about if the transmission is gonna have any more issues. Even though you don't hear about any issues with the 6 or 80, it's just weird that my car would have uh, a torque converter failure when I know people that have beat their car way worse making a lot more power than I do and they haven't had a torque converter failure so that's that's kind of weird but you know that's what happened to my car guys um, I, I, I had to get it towed to Ford because it just it, it was making th that nasty sound I showed you um, and I just didn't want to drive it because I had no clue what it was um, so I got it towed there got it taken care of all good to go now but Hopefully we can get it back to how it was and get back to making content with the car and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you next time.